So Jerome Powell decided to crash the market today. While higher interest rates, slower growth, and softer labor market conditions will bring down inflation, they will also bring some pain to households and businesses. These are the unfortunate costs of reducing inflation. But a failure to restore price stability would mean far greater pain. Inflation is running well above 2%, and high inflation has continued to spread through the economy. While the lower inflation readings for July are certainly welcome, a single month's improvement falls far short of what the committee will need to see before we are confident that inflation is moving down. So we are moving our policy stance purposefully to a level that will be sufficiently restrictive to return inflation to 2%. July's increase in the target range was the second 75 basis point increase in as many meetings. And I said then that another unusually large increase could be appropriate at our next meeting. We are now about halfway through the intermeeting period. Our decision at the September meeting will depend on the totality of the incoming data and the evolving outlook. At some point, as the stance of monetary policy tightens further, it likely will become appropriate to slow the pace of increases. Restoring price stability will likely require maintaining a restrictive policy stance for some time. The historical record cautions strongly against prematurely loosening policy. There's a lot of offsetting currents right now. Nancy, thank you very much, and thank you, uh, Deirdre, as well. As we head into the close, about 30 seconds left. We are tracking for more than a 3% decline, about 3.4% in the S&P 500. The Dow is down about 1,000 points. The S&P has now broken the early August lows. We're still hanging on to more than half of the total rally from the June low up into last week's high. Down to that low, 36 and change would be another 10% drop from here. Market breath is looking like a washout, about 90%. Down Downside volume on the New York Stock Exchange. That does it for Closing Bell on a Friday. Have a good weekend. Here is Scott Wapner with Overtime. For me, at least, guys, the message remains the same. Because what I'm doing right now, or what I've been doing, is for the next 60 months. I'm looking way down the road. And if you also end it for the next 60 months, guys, or the next 10 years, you should be looking at where can I find an opportunity right now to place my money where in the next 60 months I can come out on top. The next 12 to 24 months is going to be tough, no questions about it. It's probably going to get a lot worse right now before it gets better, right? But you should put yourself in position where number one, you don't invest anything that you cannot afford to lose. And number two, if you're going to invest some money right now, make sure it's not money that you need right away. We understand that you can have an emergency, but you wanna be careful getting into the market right now. That's why dollar cost average or investment right now is probably the best thing to do. A thousand points down today, a thousand points down tomorrow, it doesn't matter right now. This is my opinion. This is not financial advice. This is what I'm doing. I'm telling you what I'm doing and what I have been doing. The crypto market is not doing any better right now. Bitcoin is currently at the time of this recording at $20,000. The total market cap just dropped under a trillion dollars right now. Ethereum is at $1,500. But yes, guys, I see everything right now as opportunities. I'm trying to find cracks between those drops so I can get in where in the next five years, you know, I'll be a lot better off than I am today, right? And I suggest that you do the same. Again, this is not financial advice. This is my opinion. The market will recover. When? I don't know when. We can guess, but nobody knows, guys. That's why we DCA when we find those opportunities. Could be 24 months, could be 36, could be five, it could be 10 years. But we know for sure it will recover, right? So the message is, guys, stay the course. Keep your heads up. Doesn't matter if you're in crypto or if you're in the market. Make sure you do your research. Find companies that's going to be around for the next five to 10 years. What I can tell you is this, guys. I've mentioned this before. 2007, 2008, I was around then. We have seen this before. And the people who did not panic, they did well for themselves. So stay the course, keep on DC and your investment in. Doesn't matter if it drops on another thousand points tomorrow. Find cracks where you can get in and come out on top. With that said, have a nice weekend and I will see you in the next one. Later.